Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Amir Khan Alize. I am a teacher come trainer and teaching in different universities as visiting faculty. I am an industries person having more than 20 years of work experience in multinational organization. I have started converting my professional experience via my deliver lectures on my YouTube channel. This will help students to grab knowledge in this technological era. At first, I will be focusing economics starting lectures on managerial economics this will be three to four streams in total each lecture will be between five to ten minutes duration to keep the students intact in small patch of time instead of long lectures coming to the point my lectures will be in urdu and english both focusing the audience in last lecture we discussed uh, revenue analysis equilibrium break even point and importance of managers we have looked all these things in detail and tried to understand it in uh, upcoming lecture is lecture 9 stream 1 we will be discussing perfect competition monopoly perfect profit ma maximizing output shutdown decisions and productive efficiency after me jo basic samjhan se start karenge wo hai perfect competition or perfect competition mein ideal situation kya hoti hai ideal situation uh, kya aati hai ke uh, when firms are primarily distinguishing from each other by the degree of competition they face so perfect competition or monopoly ke darmiyan mein kya cheez fall kar rahi hai monopolistic competition and oligopoly so uh, basic purpose kya hai perfect competition ka ke profit maximization hai the model of perfect competition hai allocative and productive efficiencies for it and long run cost and adjustments so though in uh, perfect competition what we are discussing profit maximizing rules so no matter what kind of firm we are talking about they will maximize their profit by when by when their marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost so mr is equal to mc if mr is greater than mc uh, you are foregoing profit and if mr is less than mc then you are uh foregoing profit so this is the understanding in between that you have to look in between the marginal revenue and the marginal cost if is it is equal to it is it greater or it's uh, less than that is that the answer to that the first question the first question was actually theoretical so you can have a look at it into the uh, in the uh, notes of it whereas the uh, objective type i have put up the uh, answers to those so if you have attempted those uh, the, that particular text in my pre previous lecture which i have left it over there this is the uh, answer to that slide in perfect competition all goods are identical one cannot be uh, usefully distinguishing from another many buyers and sellers are there so no one can affect price through their actions it means the monopolistic competition is not there or monopoly does not prevail there there are no barriers to entry and exit so firm cannot earn economic profit in the long run buyers and sellers have perfect information so a single price uh, will prevail in the market with this we come to an end to this particular lecture and in upcoming lecture we will be discussing perfect competition in further detail and uh, general equilibrium and the efficiency of perfect competition and uh, we will be uh, start discussing monopoly so stay tuned and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel so that i can produce uh, further lectures at your interest and inshallah uh, see you in the next lecture bismillah rahman rahim assalamu alaikum this is amir khan alize and uh, we will be starting our lecture 9 stream 2 in this we will be discussing perfect competition in detail and different terminologies with graphic representation of a general equilibrium and the efficiency of perfect competition and also we will be discussing monopoly in it so stay tuned perfect competition so in perfect competition market price is equal to price to the firm is marginal revenue in this the demand for the firm's output and is it is perfectly elastic so graphical representation as I'm taking so in the market the point where supply and demand crosses each other in the center that is P E and Q E so this uh, this particular point is the perfect competition so where quantity is on x axis and price is on the y axis 
so looking into a farm when uh, when we are discussing a farm and saying x is x axis is quantity and on y axis is some price so at point q in between q1 and q2 point q that is giving the perfect competition so where p is equal to mr and that is is equal to t so a marginal cost curve is showing the uh, perfect competition in this particular graph looking into the perfect competition so we can uh, look at this particular slide that the homogeneous products are there free entry and exit is there perfect uh, knowledge of prices and technology everybody knows it no transportation cost extra no artificial restrictions are there uh, artificially good problem available in the market ke andar, large buyers and sellers are easy come and easy go ke situation hai ke everything is available for everybody's uh, destination and according to their pocket journal equilibrium or efficiency of perfect competition to explain karne ke liye ye cycle uh, ek, uh, better understanding data hai ke input and output markets cannot be considered separately or as if they operated independently so the output demand that pushes towards the labor supply and saving capital supply is so definitely for that for capital you need wealth to invest into the market whereas looking into the labor supply so uh, labor of the wages in the discussion of the market in the market my capital stock is what invest over here so uh, firms or companies you know of you know, production to development to the other production is all you know here you need labor labor to demand me about how to have the supplies for uh, uh, produce किया जाता है सप्लाई से भी प्रोड्यूस होती है मार्केट डिमांड को फुलफिल करने के लिए तो ये एक आ, सर्कल है ये एक साइकिल है कि जिसके थ्रू आप एफिशिएंसी परफेक्ट मार्केट की देख सकते हैं वी डिस्कसिंग मोनोपोली द वर्ड मोनोपोली इज कंपोज्ड ऑफ टू वर्ड्स मोनो एंड पोली सो द मोनो मींस सिंगल एंड पोली मींस सेलर so this monopoly is a market situation in which there is a single seller of food and no close substitutes so some examples of monopoly like railways or telephone uh, were also a monopoly uh, but now up to some extent electricity and water as well mm. characteristics of uh, monopoly or there is one seller in the market there are no close substitutes seller has considerable control over the price there are barriers to entry with this we come to an end of uh, this lecture and in next lecture in next stream uh, we will be discussing monopoly monopolistic competition oligopoly and uh, uh, looking into the uh, triangle of the price leadership so stay tuned and uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel with lecture 9 stream 3 in this we will be discussing price dis determination under monopoly monopoly and monopolistic competition so stay tuned price determination under monopoly during short period so in this uh, uh, diagram you can have a look at it uh, the abnormal profit which is a b and uh, c d so this shows the abnormal profit in the graph the firm is in equilibrium at point O and Q. O A or Q B is the price. C Q is the average total cost and the gray area mentioned here as I have said A B C D represents monopoly profit. Monopolistic competition. So it uh, may be defined as a, a combination of both perfect competition and monopoly. It is a middle point of the two extreme situations. It refers to that market situation so in which large number of producers produce goods which are close substitute of each other like Pepsi and Coke, Colgate and Sparkle. So these goods are similar but not exactly identical or homogeneous so but uh, their use is the same. Some important characteristics of monopolistic competition are as follows. The large number of firms, production, differentiations, free entry and exit of firm selling cost with a higher advertising cost non uh, price competition no collusion among firms consumers attachment firm is price per mar uh, maker and not taker now we will be discussing oligopoly 
it is the imperfect uh, market where there are a few sellers in the market so they are producing identical products products are close but not perfect substitutes of each other so some examples are for steel cement cigarette aluminium tires automobiles soft drinks so I, as i have given the examples in previous slides of the pepsi and coke toyota and honda so like pcl and uh, neatel so in our country's context these are some few uh, famous examples of oligopoly now we will be looking at uh, the dominant firm and competitive french france leadership as per the assumptions the market sharing between dominating firm and other firms can be seen by uh, graphs below so uh, we can look at it, the outputs of uh, uh, the out output and the price in between the comparison so we can look at it that uh, who are the leading supplies and where supply from uh, small firm where, where they pitch so in this situation a b is equal to o q that is uh, supply uh, of the leader once the leader firm sets its price o p the market demand curve for smaller firm is the horizontal price line that shows here as p b Assalamualaikum. Uh, this is Amir Khan Alizai coming with lecture 9 stream 4 so stay tuned in this lecture we will be discussing break even point and shutdown point so with graphical representations so uh, how to define break even and shutdown points so in this slide we will uh, be able to clear the uh, concept of it the price at which a firm will break even the price uh, will or should shut down so, or uh, understanding so that when a firm total revenue is equal to its total economic cost then it will be uh, at the break even point either way when a firm receives a price that will not cover at least its variable cost sir fixed cost nikal rahi hai variable cost ke liye aapke paas expense nahi out ho raha and you have to pay it from your pocket so that is the point which will push the firm towards shutdown what is the break even point this is the point where the price is equal to average cost or p is equal to ac so at this point the firm is covering all of its economic cost recall it uh, when we discussed it earlier that this is the counting cost plus opportunity cost so in economics when a firm is at a break-even point it is said to be earning a normal profit in this diagram you can have a look at it the uh, shutdown point so this is an example where the marginal cost curve is crossing all the way from the center the average variable cost and average total cost so uh, one uh, can have a look at it if we are putting quantity on x axis and price on the y axis so the price drops down from 10 to 8 so what is the reason and you have to uh, think over it what does the shaded area and the diagram represents so one can have a look at it that what definition uh, it is presenting through this particular graph yes so if you identified this area as total fixed cost at uh, uh, output 300 so you are right so you will see that at the shutdown point of eight dollar the firm is not covering any of its fixed cost at any price between eight dollar and ten dollar it will be will at least be able to pay off some of its fixed cost so it uh, makes sense to keep operating can I come so that you can have a uh, look at it the current example of one of the Toyota units in uh, Sin province so they were not able to cover the, the cost that's why they push towards the shutdown point and they have to uh, abandon one of their units uh, because of uh, the current si prevailing situation We're discussing the productive efficiency so a firm is producing efficient when it is operating at the lowest point and its average cost curve that is unit cost have been uh, I mean, main productive efficiency exists when uh, producers uh, minimize the wastage of resources. So, productive efficiency also relates to even an economy is on their production possibility frontier. So, all uh, economy an economy is uh, uh, productively efficient if it can produce more of one good only by producing 
less of an productive efficiency so near all studies uh, find that more competition leads to increased productivity more competition usually leads to high productive efficiency as there are intense pressure to lower the cost so uh, that needs to be incorporated in the welfare analysis with this we come to the end of the lecture 9 and in upcoming lecture 10 we will be discussing benchmarking total quality management impact of technology change location theory and its uh, principles so stay tuned and uh, as requested earlier as well don't forget to subscribe this channel to see, to keep the motivation up and i will be uh, uploading my uh, further lectures in 11th lecture 10 and 11 and with that we will be completing our whole course on uh, econo managerial economics and uh, after that i will be starting my lectures on economy of pakistan at bba and mba levels